Hey guys, how's it going? So today I've got what I think will be hopefully quite a useful video for you and it's basically how to use YouTube for free to learn Chinese. So what I want to cover in this is basically what are CC subtitles and why these are useful, how to find videos with CC subtitles or closed caption subtitles, when you found the video what can you actually do with it, I'll show you a little bit with how it integrates with link at the end. But first, before that, I also want to show you what are my favorite channels that I've discovered and that I use so far. And when I'm going through what YouTube videos I recommend, I'm going to start with what I think are the more easy ones. And then as I go further into the video, I'm going to progress to what I think is more difficult. And I know this is quite a long video compared to normal, so I'll leave time stamps for everything I'm going to talk about below so you can skip to the relevant parts that you're interested in. So if we go to YouTube here, basically you notice a lot of videos at the bottom here, they'll have subtitles on, but they'll be hardwired into the video, so there's no way for you to turn them on, off or on. When I'm talking about CC captions, you can go into this cog at the bottom here and you click on the subtitles, and then there should be an option to turn them off and on here. Now, why this is so useful compared to other stuff is because this is actually stored on YouTube, and because it's stored on YouTube, it gives you access to the file. So the first thing you can do is if you click on the three dots in the bottom right here and then click on open the subtitle file to read, you basically get a transcript open on the right side of the video and you can choose to turn off or on the timestamps here. And then if you say read something here, when you left click on it, it redirects the video to the point of where that subtitle is. And the other thing why this is so useful is because if you use a pop-up dictionary like this one, Zhongwen Chinese pop-up dictionary, you just click on that, activate it and then hover your mouse above anything and either the subtitles or the transcript and it tells you what that means. And this is incredibly useful um, for learning Chinese. You know, you can just pause the video, rewind five seconds, look up a video and just get the definition and the opinion instantly and just keep on trying to watch through as much as you can. So I'll give you a quick demonstration on what sort of stuff you can do now. So provided you've got the Chinese pop-up dictionary enabled, you can then full screen the video like this, and then you can simply press spacebar to play and stop, and you can press the left arrow key to do backwards five seconds and the right arrow key to do forwards five seconds. And you can use this to try and control stop and look up stuff incredibly easy. So I'll give you a quick look now. 但是一说到手术室里的医生，一定会想到蓝蓝绿绿的手术服。但是一说到手术室里的医生，一定会想到蓝蓝绿绿的手术服。So that's, so that's briefly what the CC subtitles are and what you can do with them. So then, how do you actually find them? So a lot of people don't actually know this in YouTube. There's, they've got certain codes you can type in at the top. So if I wanted to search for something so if i just say type in you want to find something to do in nutrition so i type in the word for cholesterol and speech marks at the top and then you do comma space capital letters cc what that's going to do is it's going to search for videos with this word here in the closed caption so when i click search this is going to come up with all the videos with cholesterol in the cc subtitles and therefore if i'm interested in nutrition I can use this to find a lot of relevant videos that are going to help me learn about these topics and you'll find two of these channels here are ones that I'm about to recommend in a second. So if I just go in here again, hi. you can see it's got the subtitles here. So then now that's over, I want to quickly go over some of my favourite channels and again I'll leave everything in the description for you guys to check out. So the first one I'm going to recommend is Adi Yingwen or I think the English name is Ray Do English. And he has lots of videos here teaching English, having guests on, doing challenges, all sorts of things. Where um, sometimes he has guests on about teachers that are quite well known and have written books about how to learn English. So you can also use some of the methods that they're talking about. But all of his videos here have CC subtitles. And if you go onto the playlist section here, something that I find particularly interesting is he's got a series for difficult to translate Chinese words. So if I just click on this here. So if you click on um, difficult to translate series and then you scroll down to the bottom, he's actually got a few videos on here. Hello, Sadi. Today, like words that are difficult to translate from Chinese into English, and then it can help you learn the reverse way. Like you already know what, what the English is, and he's explaining it in English, so you can use that to learn what the Chinese is. 
and then also because the rest of the videos in Chinese you can also learn a bunch of useful stuff that way like just general speech patterns get used to a normal speed normal pace speech and practice your listening at the same time now the next two I'm going to recommend is this is the same guy again Adi and this is more like daily vlog stuff here and again he's got all of these with CC subtitles so yeah and also if you like both of those and you'll probably like this this is his I guess his younger sister Dime and again she's got loads of videos here as well but these ones don't have um don't have CC subtitles but I still think it's you know they're not too difficult if you're interested in sort of vlog type stuff normally they've got hardwired sub subtitles here so you can still use that as well even though it's not quite as useful now next up TK story this is my favorite one and he has a lot of quite short they're like documentary style videos but they're all very short so I found um, it originally because my friend sent me this one he just started a vegan 30 day challenge and he's also did a documentary on the god pigs here in Taiwan but then he's got loads of other really cool stuff as well a lot of stuff about environmental protection he's done videos when he's protected when he's gone on the streets and um, when he's gone on the streets and seen what it's like to be homeless for a night he's got documentaries um this one 11 minutes long was really interesting about some of the aboriginal people here in taiwan about how the relationship between the japanese and the uh, taiwanese and how sometimes the families can't communicate so this guy's videos i think they're really high quality and this is probably out of the ones i'm going to recommend today probably my favorite channel and like the other ones cc subtitles so it's very useful for learning with so this one is if you a few seconds ago the one that i found relative relative to when i was searching for nutrition but this channel isn't actually about nutrition it's about science in general so if you click again on the playlist here um it's got small he's got videos here about small bits of information about certain topics so they've got health here he's also got psychology down here and just general science ones here so they're quite interesting he's got a range of videos here oh, yes. all of them are fairly shorts with cc subtitles you can turn off and on and animations in the background to help you visually understand what's going on so still getting more difficult here this is another one that i found when searching about nutrition and again this is a taiwanese teacher and it's just about his um it's just a youtube channel entirely about nutrition so he's got here loads of talks some of them are up to 50 minutes long here about loads of different aspects of nutrition and all of them have CC subtitles. He speaks very... Um, he speaks very normal paced speech. Um, so I think it's also good for listening practice and just the sheer amount of content in terms of hours on his channel. If nutrition is something you're interested in is keep you busy for a very, very, very long time. Okay, so finally, the last one I wanted to recommend is str network and there this one is again so as i'm recommending they're getting progressively harder so this is again one of the hardest ones that i think because they have a lot of political stuff here they have lots of references and jokes to taiwanese pop culture that you may or may not understand so even though they eventually upload subtitles to all of them i've been in the situation before when i've understood every single word of a sentence the audience is laughing and i'm not really too sure why because there's loads of references in here that I don't understand. Um, and also because the host, I think, is quite young, a lot of the audience is quite young, I think this is quite you know, new, quite fresh Taiwanese Mandarin. So if this is something you're interested in, then I'd definitely recommend checking this out. But I'd say it's very difficult and it covers a very broad range, broad range of topics. And then just a bonus extra one. So I wasn't originally going to include this in the video because I was going to do a top five, but... Um, but my friend linked me a few videos of this the other day and I thought it was too useful not to include. So here again, he uploads one video every day with subtitles here. So even if you were doing an approach like me when you dissect one dialogue every day, you could literally just take videos from this channel. Most of them are about 10 minutes long and go through one a day. And because of the range of topics he goes through on this channel, I think you'll get exposed a lot to a wide variety of topics. You know, he has stuff to do here with science about recent affairs going on in Taiwan, about politics, about stuff like AI. He's got a big range of stuff 
plenty to keep busy and if you just want to keep up to date with what's happening in Taiwan and learn about a variety of topics and what people's opinions are about it then I think this is a very good channel but again like with the last one this is probably the I'd say maybe SRT network or this one is basically the hardest out of the two depending on which video you choose so I find this very very hard but if you're looking for something interesting about 10 minutes long to import into say link or dissect then I think this is very very useful and I'd highly recommend it and finally if you guys are interested in using link you basically all you have to do is download the link importer extension to google chrome you can just type it into google and it should be the first one so when you just type it here you can just click on the first link and this will be how to you can just download it and it's super easy to use you basically just go to the video click on the link and put icon and then when it loads you basically choose the playlist and fill in the information again i'm going to create a new course label this science and then click import and then open lesson and what that's going to do is it's going to pull in the full text from the subtitles into link along with the audio as well so you click one button and then you've got the audio and the transcript on the on link on the website you can if you like walking around a lot you can download the link app and you automatically can download the mp3 really easily add it to a playlist and just use it while you're walking around to listen to and it's a great way to kind of get passive emotion while you're walking about uh, one quick thing there is it seems i guess because traditional chinese is maybe still in beta a lot of the time when you take import videos from youtube a lot of the time it doesn't grab the audio as well so sometimes you have to download that separately using a third party website and import it into link separately apart from that so that can be a bit troublesome sometimes it seems to work about 50 50 about 50 percent of the time i've queried the people at link and they said sometimes it happens and it's just something you're gonna have to accept so but nevertheless i still think it's very very useful and if you wanted to go through an approach like me when you go through a dialogue in the morning you can read through and dissect it in detail and then when you're going and walking about to say to class or to university or to work later that day you can just listen to the same dialogue on repeat or the same video on repeat a few times and just get that extra exposure in so that's it that's how i've been using youtube videos to find interesting content from mandarin chinese that's free that you can use to help you learn i hope you guys found it useful today if you have any comments or any think any channels that you'd recommend for mandarin then please let me know and if that's all then i'll see you guys in the next video peace